Hi, my name is Jim McClellan. I'm Director of Trade Development with the Port of Los Angeles, and I try to help businesses enter the international market. My name is Kubaka Michael Harris, I'm the Director of Black Farmers and Agriculturalists in the state of California. My name is Ken Barnes. I am a management consultant. I also do some marketing consulting and I uh, own three businesses here in California and we do business worldwide. I was invited as a panelist to uh, discuss uh, the topic of tourism in Africa and so that is what brings me to the conference. Carter Tejada, Venesco Capital. Al Washington has been a good friend and partner of ours for quite some time. So we're always delighted to participate in this conference and we look forward to participating in the conference for many years. There are a lot of avenues and I might acknowledge that that has been one of our problems, our inability to have outlets where people could get information about Africa and how to do businesses. But I will encourage people who want to do business in Africa to go on the internet to contact the nearest African they know to um, con contact schools, educational institutions and uh, uh, they will get good information about Africa. My name is Millicent Adrian Crisp. I am President and CEO of the Global Impact Company, which is an investment firm um, primarily focused on real estate and media products and also Global Impact Green, which is an organic fertilizer. The last three years we've been a co-sponsor of the conference along with our friends at the airport and uh, it's been a pleasure to be able to talk about issues related to trade with Africa because this is the only venue that we know about in this our region that we can discuss these issues, the opportunities and the challenges. So I think it's just wonderful that we've been able to hold this conference here in the Los Angeles area. Brother Al Washington, I had the opportunity to meet him in March at a Good Jobs, Green Jobs regional conference at the Bonaventure Hotel in downtown Los Angeles um, with my good friend Michael Harris who is the director of black agriculture here in the United States. And I was on a panel with Al and I heard about this conference. For a session that's dealing with agricultural trade and commerce, how we can take appropriate technology to Africa, uh, increase production, and how we can take products from Africa, bring them to America and other places around the world in the agriculture. Why we attend this conference is we're already currently uh, doing a lot of investment in Africa. Um, I feel like Africa is my second home. I've been to Africa this year already five times. And um, so we have a lot of clients out there and we're looking to invest more in Africa. So it's just a matter of really finding the people that are actually facilitating new projects, people that actually have exposure in understanding how to do business in Africa. And our purpose is really to be able to provide capacity, whether it's through providing them capital or provided them technical expertise through one of our partners. So we're really here to, at the end of the day, help the economy of Africa, help the businesses in Africa, and really help overall the GDP of Africa grow. And of course, uh, help our portfolio. Jim Richardson, I'm the President and CEO of Imani Energy. We're a solar power system installation company. We provide solar for commercial residential purposes, and we also do training. We have a solar sales training program. So we do this for specifically focus on low income and people of color communities. So we're a mission driven company. So we're a for profit entity. We focus on communities and ensuring that low income and people of color are fully included in the green sector. I'm uh, Charles Hunt, and I'm the program coordinator for the Global Logistics Program at the College of Extended and International Education. Cal State to make this conference because of the great work of Al Washington, all the great people working with them. It's a critical issue that they're dealing with here, the issue of pan-African trade, investment, and development. Uh, we are chiefly concerned, our company is in money for a reason, as a person of African descent, I'm clearly concerned about the future of the African people and then the whole globe. So what we see happening here is an opportunity for us to interface, connect with and make tremendous contacts and do business and for our company to do good. I was a panelist to today's conference to introduce our program to try to help uh, people get ahead in the 
transportation industry, particularly in the Carson, the Compton, Gardena area of California. It should be a good program for someone who perhaps is working on a shipping dock of a distribution company and wants to get ahead, wants to be a supervisor, wants to like know a little bit more about logistics and transportation, how to get things moving, uh, and also for somebody that's new to the business that wants to enter into it. The particular area around the campus of Dominguez Hills has a lot of logistics-oriented business, freight forwarders, distribution centers, so there's a lot of opportunities for a population within the area. After all the learning, there is something experiential that we all need to take away from this conference. For me, number one is I'm real big on follow-up and every card that I get, I'm always one to either email or call. I'm absolutely willing, everybody to whom I have given a card or received a card, willing to meet again, to talk, to dialogue, to find out if there's something that I can do um, to connect them someplace. <laughs> And because I know that in doing that, everybody wins. And uh, there's certainly some people that I've met that I'd like to find out how we can collaborate on some of the countries with whom um, I'm in relationship, the 16 different countries thus far in the emerging um, developing company market, country markets that I'm involved with. And that's the number one thing I'm going to take away. And I always do that right away. I said that's such a good question. What surprises me is that out of, I will be surprised if more than 5% of the people to whom I reconnect, call or email, respond. Mm. But I always throw out that challenge to see, prove me wrong get all hyped up and excited, it's like it's a good church service or something. And then after the fact, I'm like, let's get together. And um, I'm always amazed how few people really did anything more than give me their card or their phone. There are a lot of avenues and I might acknowledge that that has been one of our problems, our inability to have outlets where people could get information about Africa and how to do businesses. But I will encourage people who want to do business in Africa to go on the internet to contact the nearest African they know to um, con contact schools, educational institutions, and uh, uh, they will get good information about Africa. This conference that uh, Al put together and, and you as a liaison putting together all the volunteers and these lovely women that I had opportunity to meet today uh, was wonderful, wonderful. It was worth every second of my time and I feel blessed to have had the opportunity to be here. why we attend this conference is we're already currently uh, doing a lot of investment in Africa. Um, I feel like Africa is my second home. I've been to Africa this year already five times. And um, so we have a lot of clients out there and we're looking to invest more in Africa. So it's just a matter of really finding the people that are actually facilitating new projects, people that actually have exposure in understanding how to do business in Africa. And our purpose is really to be able to provide capacity, whether it's through providing them capital or provided them technical expertise through one of our partners. So we're really here to, at the end of the day, help the economy of Africa, help the businesses in Africa, and really help overall the GDP of Africa grow. And of course, uh, help our portfolio grow. It's a good conference that we are having. I, uh, it's my prayer that we um, are able to make a, a lot more noise about it next year to attract a lot more African businesses and people with love for Africa. And because this interaction is able to uh, give a lot of information that is able to uh, send a lot of businesses to Ghana and, and, and Africa as a whole. And both sides benefit in the end. I'm Ada Bambu from Senegal. And here I am on one side, an event center 
And on the other side, I am a child uh, developer uh, for well, child well-being. Meaning, when um, I'm working with parents, I'm a midwife too. I work with parents when they have children who have some difficulty. I help them, put them in pattern like sleeping disorder, eating disorder. And my other passion again is as an event planner, a PR, and representing Senegal in Los Angeles. I have tremendous contacts, learned a lot about opportunities that exist in Africa. Uh, people, direct contact with people. This is one thing I think is very significant about this conference, making direct contact with people who are doing work in the continent. And so you're not just doing work by maybe uh, a speaker who's telling you about, you're meeting people who are doing work. So you get a lot of face-to-face -face contact in the business. Relationships are key, and this is what this conference does, more so than any conference of this type that I've been to. So it's, it's um, tremendously exciting, a tremendously important conference, something that has to absolutely continue, and it's really making a difference. I've seen the response of the people who participate in this, the speakers, the participants, and the relationships that are being made. So um, for me, it's just very exciting. People that were here, they broadened the understanding of what uh, agriculture is. Anything in the world with a product code is part of agriculture, regulated by the agriculture industry. When people in Africa are not eating, or people in America are eating too much, it's because we don't understand agriculture, we don't understand nutrition as a system. Few of us do, uh, but most of us don't understand the significant role agriculture plays in our lives. So the people took that away. The people that are not here, uh, well, the best thing to say is if you're eating well, if you have a job, uh, if your lifestyle is the way you like it, well, continue to do what you're doing. But if you're not eating well, if you have bad health outcomes in your family, if you don't have a job, uh, you might want to look at agriculture as a place to start. Uh, if you grow food yourself, uh, you can eat. And if you grow more than that you can eat, you know, to be healthy, you can sell that excess capacity and make a very good living. The best thing to do is to do a simple business plan and to contact the resources that you have at your disposal in the LA area so that you can study which country is the safest bet for me and for the product or service I'd like to sell. And then to do your research and do your costing and leave enough margin in it so that you don't get a nasty surprise and so that you can provide a pleasant surprise to your customer. So don't don't over promise but over postpone. Africa is going to continue to play a role as it has in the past. And it's, I guess it's cyclical if you will. So the role of Africa always is a source of resources. That's why people know that. But that always has not been in the best interest of Africa. What this is about is creating a new way of doing business. Uh, creating a new kind of economy where resources are shared and those resources benefit Africa. Um, and this is good for the world. It's good for the people of Africa. And, and to the extent that we do business that develops those ties that are mutually beneficial, we're helping to heal the planet. And that's why I'm really glad to be associated with the conference, the work that is going, the vision that it's put forward. And we I think one of the biggest things that you'll take from it uh, is really exposure. So there's a lot of individuals or groups or companies or corporations or multinational uh, government agencies that attend these type of conferences that you wouldn't are you wouldn't understand what they do. You wouldn't understand the key people in those corporations. So what this type of conference does is really provide exposure. So when you're in the same room, you have the ability to speak with them, you have the ability to ask them questions. How do you do this? What do you do? What are your products? What are your services? So you, re you really start getting exposure to that. You start gaining knowledge. And then from there, you'll be able to sort of put the pieces together thereafter and see how you can work with it, see how you can help your business grow, uh, help other businesses grow, refer people, and overall, just overall economic development in, in a sense. So that's, that's the reason why we're here. Do you have any last words or thoughts? Invest in Africa. Um, no, literally, there's a lot of, um, a lot of opportunities in Africa, uh, overall in emerging markets, but I could say just from our 
company's point of view, Africa is a market that's growing tremendously uh, statistically. Uh, you can look at all the white papers, you can look at all the reports. Africa is the place to invest. Uh, our company is already committed a lot of capital. You have the IFC that's going to be committing billions. You have the World Bank that's going to be committing billions. A lot of investment is being funneled to Sub-Saharan Africa, Africa in general. So if there was any words of wisdom that I could shed on to the people that are attending this conference, look at Africa as a very uh, key role in the future for investment. Everybody should come to LA, enjoy the hospitality that I've received being here, and really look at Africa as mother. It's been a very interesting uh, uh, conference. A lot of good topics have been discussed. I've met good people. And uh, everybody here has a spirit of wanting the better for Africa, something good for Africa. And that is what I've liked about this conference. People gathering together with good intentions to bring something good to Africa. I was uh, one of the keynote speakers uh, on business trade, representing Senegal and offering all kind of uh, um, opportunity that we can have in Senegal, like tourism, manufacturers, and all stones like gold. We, I was here for this uh, purpose. My last words, I guess, would be I hope that the conference can grow in the future so that we can have different sections of the conference dedicated to uh, infrastructure projects, to food and beverage and agriculture, so that we can take advantage of this wonderful opportunity to do further research and exploration of the wealth of opportunities that exist. So I hope, looking forward in the future, that we'll expand our participation by two or three times. That's a very great conference. What I get out is that we can network really with our community here and network also with all uh, kind, of, kind of level of people who can uh, get involved in Africa and really want to get involved into uh, trade and programs that we have in Africa and for us also to be able to come here in the United States and make some exchange with the Pan-African community and the community within the diaspora.